What up everybody, it's your girl July from Kickback Couture and today I'm gonna go over the Loot Cloud from Loot Masters. The first thing I wanna get into is the ability to add your own sound libraries. So all you have to do is come up, click this plus button here and select the folder. And once you select it, it will analyze the sounds down to the T, including the key, the BPM and the type of sound that it is. So if it's a vocal, a kick, snare, um a guitar anything like that it's gonna it's gonna tag it for you so when you come in this area and you search you start narrowing down with the filter you'll get the exact sound you want out of your sound library in addition you can also do that in the store and find whatever sound that you need that you may not have up here we also have the option to favorite sounds or show our favorite sounds i have already favorited some sounds that are in my library so i just come click on this library button here and uh, these are the sounds i favorited uh, some guitar sounds if you want to hear them gonna be making something really dope with that really soon so uh, once again you can easily switch from library to store simple button there um, this is a randomized search result, so it'll pull up random sounds for you. Edit tags. If you would like to edit the tag on a specific sound, you can do that here. Uh, this will show your search history. So this is my entire search history. If I wanted to go back and there was a sound I liked it, I couldn't remember what it was. You can easily pull it up there. This is the preferences section. And... This button allows you to purchase more credits and view how many credits you have and which account you're logged in as. The Loop Cloud is 100% free. It's a great way to store your samples and be able to sort through everything. So it has an incredible filter section up here. Uh, didn't mean to do that. And that's up here at the top. So here I'm in my library and we see I can switch from the store to the library pretty easily um, and I can go through my sounds and it automatically analyzes and tags everything so this is my boom light your drum kit and it automatically figures out that this is an 808 it's a wave and it's also a one shot so if you don't have the boom light your drum kit and you like these sounds definitely go check it out now, I have about 125,000 sounds, and it took a while for all of these to process, but once it processed, I had no issues. And everything is readily available whenever I need it. This filter section also helps you go through the sounds you want, in addition to the automatic tags, which are like BPM and key we can also go through and find specific instruments such as a uh, mallet. Or a guitar or a harp. Oh, these are uh, NKI contact samples, so I won't be able to play that. But um, wave samples are definitely playable. And I can do that by coming up to format selecting waves so that I don't get anything different and these are all in my sound library and let's go back over to instrument type I'm going to select guitar actually acoustic guitar see what I find And um, if I want to show it in my library, I can just right click show in library. And this is the welcome pack. And it's a part of the Loop Masters welcome free sample pack. So every week, if you have the Loop Cloud, you get 150 free sounds just for inspiration every single week. So let's select acoustic guitar and uh, we can change the state. This appears to be the only acoustic guitar.
in this state. And these are all part of the cloud. And we also have these options down here. We can change the tempo. We can double it. We can play it at half. We can uh, do a pattern if we would like to. So if I do four bars, two bars, I can also change the pitch. So drag this up. Can go up an octave, down an octave, back to the regular. We can set it specifically. So say I like D sharp. I want to go up one octave. And this just connects Loop Cloud to the DAW plugin. So now um, let's hop into Reason. Now I'm just going to drag the Loop Cloud VST into my rack and we see this sound is already registering through. As long as Loop Cloud is open, the sound is going to come through. Whoops. And now the tempo has matched my DAW, 140. Let's hop back into Loop Cloud, not the VST, but the browser version. And we see it matched 140, and I can go half if I'd like to. Think I may have to, yep, I can't change that from here. So I'd have to change that in my DAW if I wanted to be a little more specific, which is a simple process. Now, if for some reason I didn't like the sounds that are in my library, I could easily just find sounds in the store. So if I'm looking for a mandolin sound and I don't have mandolins, this is time stretching to match my DAW. I'm actually going to skip that. Um, I could play it, but uh, I believe that's probably like copyrighted or something. So I'm going to skip that if I want to find a mandolin sound. Gonna come here into the store and go up to the filter section and put in mandolin and let's see what pops up. We got a Rex file here. And I can change the genre. Let's go with blues. I can't imagine taking a crazy chop of this area right here, making a dope beat. And it's nothing to buy the file. All you have to do is click this buy file button to buy the sound. And you, you bought it, you, you got the sound. So if you need to buy more points by any chance, more credits, just gonna come up to this area up here connection here not sure why I said that but uh gonna come up to this area up here and you're just gonna buy more points and then it's gonna take you to the loop cloud website where you can purchase more credits let's get into some genre specific sounds so you all know what exactly what you're getting into whoops uh genre let's go for hip-hop Could do something pretty dope with that. Percussion. Vocal loop. Fight for liberation. Drum break. And if I want a specific instrument, once again, I could put that in. Let's say I want to do something different. String loop. 
Now it's going to be hip hop and it's going to be string loop. And it's playing this two bar loop here, so I can change that. And it's automatically changing it to D sharp. So, if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. I have some really dope content coming up. Getting to a lot of stuff on my list. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I'll drop the, the link to the Loop Cloud down in the description. And also, if you haven't checked out the sample pack I created with Producer Grind, definitely go check that out. I'll have the link in the description as well. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.